What possessed me to decide to make 100 paintings in 100 days? Why would anybody do such a thing? Well, there are a couple of reasons. How can it be that we have so much hate that we no longer see each other as human beings, but as adversaries, as enemies? We shouldn't fear each other because we vote a different way. We shouldn't fear each other because we look different from each other. It always felt like no matter how flawed things were and how much work we had to get through to make things right as a society for everybody, that we were at least moving in that direction. And when you start to question if that's even going to happen, if we're ever going to get there, if we're not just going to start moving backwards, it's a level of hopelessness that I was unprepared for. What are we doing to each other? I needed to find something to give me some hope. So this all started because I follow the Badass Cross Stitch on Instagram. She's amazing. If you haven't seen her work, she's a cross stitch artist. Her work is clever. Sometimes it's funny. It's always inspiring. It's always thought provoking. And she does important work. And she hosted a session for January called Make Don't Break. We would join as a community to make something every day for the month of January, just to start off the year. Uh, you know, utilizing our creativity as an outlet and as a source of um, our well-being and health and just a positive thing. So I signed up for this. I thought that would do me some good. Just started out doing whatever, whatever I could get out of my brain. Just random things that didn't have a lot to do with anything, just whatever. One of the early pieces I did was just a real quick sketchbook watercolor and I wrote in a uh, Frida Kahlo quote that I really like. Um, and then the next day I'm like, oh, I did a quote by her. Maybe I'll just paint her. And then like, okay, I painted somebody that I find inspiring and interesting. Uh, maybe I'll do that again. The next day I painted Rosa Parks, just quick. These were relatively quick pieces that I did. Everything was in a day. And it got me to think to keep doing that. Uh, I would make myself feel hope by living through other people's hope and journeys, by highlighting inspiring people that have made change. And I just started going with that at first without a whole lot of intention other than I made that decision. But as I did, went on and I made a portrait a day. And I started first off hitting people that were kind of like easy targets that I already knew of. And then as I went, I kind of had to do more research and learn about people that I didn't know a lot about. Learn about things in history that I didn't learn about. One day I'm like, I'm gonna do 100. <coughs> so, this is it. This is what I call the inspiration project. I have an entire box full of stuff. And I also have everything in higher res uh, scans on my website along with some short bios and links if you're interested in hearing about people that I chose, why I chose them. Maybe I'm sure there's people that you're not going to recognize because before I did this project, I didn't recognize these people. I start working with a watercolor portrait and from there I use a combination of collage and inks and acrylic paint to augment them and decorate them. So here they are. I've got artists, poets, publishers, scientists, activists, many firsts in their fields. I have historical figures and I have some incredibly very young people doing incredible things around the world. I've got some controversial figures and I know that they're controversial and I chose them anyway because of the good that they've done, which I'm signaling out that alone. And the point being that these are real human beings. There are folks like you and me, flaws and all, who still went out and did something, had an impact on the world, a lasting impact in some way, shape or form, or currently are doing so. And that's the idea. So here's something funny. As I'm editing this video, I am just now discovering that when I did this project of 100 paintings, which finished a couple of months ago, I have since published online, I have written about in media, etc., etc., etc. 
I actually did 101 paintings apparently, and I'm only just now coming to this realization. Mm -hmm. So I have an entire body of work here that was put together pretty quickly. But the only reason I was able to do that was because I had the inspiration to do so. I set up a personal challenge and I was able to meet it. Isn't it Malcolm Gladwell that came up with a 10,000 hour rule that it takes 10,000 hours at any task to become a master in the field? Well, not quite there yet, but this is a good start. This is the bulk of what I've been busy with so far in 2021. It became a little all encompassing for a while, perhaps to the detriment of other things like, well, my YouTube channel. But I made that sacrifice to complete this project, which was important to me. It allowed me to recapture hope and remember that there is good in the world. And besides that, I was able to grow as an artist and really as a person too. I've been able to develop my skill, to let go of my preconceived ideas of what it means to create art, and take what I've learned and expand on it into bigger pieces that aren't just one day projects now, and develop that out a little bit more. What I'm doing now is so much more interesting to me than previous works where for so long I was struggling to find my voice. It was for my well-being in the sense of like I needed to believe in the good of people again, but I also have learned about myself that I have a really hard time sticking with things. I have a very scattered mind that I have a hard time maintaining uh, attention span on a lot of stuff. So it was also to kind of challenge myself. If I set up this challenge, I would follow through. I'm very competitive with myself. Not a lot with other people, but with me, absolutely. So. I set up this challenge and I met it in a very dedicated way. I think there were maybe two days that I didn't get it done, but I always tried to catch up the following day. So I ultimately this basically created 100 paintings in 100 days. I learned so much. I really had to push myself. I developed kind of a visual language out of the materials that I was using. And by having to do a piece a day, it really loosened up my expectations. I had to let go of perfection and that allowed me to experiment more. I got better at what I was doing. Yeah, I feel like it was a tremendous growing experience and the only way that I could get myself to that was this huge challenge and it was such a relief when it was done because by the time we we're done I was feeling a little burnt out but it felt so good to have accomplished and I've been moving on lately. I think I finished this project in April. Late April? No, early May? I'll have to check my calendar how many days. It was 100 since sometime in January. But uh, yeah, that since then it kind of has given me a platform to work off of and continue to develop from with my work and that's been pretty amazing. Also, almost all of these are for sale on my website. If you go to my page and click on the shop, you'll see that there's a combination of both originals and prints of certain works too. So take a look if you're interested. The prints are very reasonable and exceptionally high quality. If there's anything that struck a chord with you, it might be available still, so take a look.